with our uh, brand, the Iron Lady brand. Um, I'm definitely really excited. Of course, the first um, Iron Lady collection was, was a limited edition, and um, many people wasn't able to get it. So definitely really excited to have another collection, and hopefully uh, more people will be able to uh, get hold of the, the collection. Uh, I think we will talk about the products later, but we have more products than before, um, so I'm, I'm definitely excited. And the racing swimsuit you will wear in the world, in Budapest here. Uh, so let's talk first about your final stage of preparation for the World Championships here in Hungary. We are two or three weeks away from the competition start. How do you feel right now? I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, I think, you know, most of the work is already done. Uh, this is the time of the year when we kind of just sit back and wait for the competition. This is the time, you know, when, when we can relax and, and rest and obviously get ready mentally uh, for the competition and, and, and get excited, get excited that um, all the swimmers from all over the world are coming to my home country. Mental preparation is a special one, I guess, when it's your hometown, when it's Budapest, when it's Hungary. Uh, do you have a plan what you're going to do uh, when, the, when the World Championship starts? Will you stay at home? Will you stay with the team at the hotel? What's the plan? Actually, the plan is to, to follow my routine as, as a, every other big swim meet. Um, same as um, the World Champs before, same as we did in, in Rio. So I will be staying in a hotel, which is a bit, you know, a bit weird because I am actually living about five, ten minutes away from the pool. Uh, on the other hand, I think for, for the mentality to be able to, you know, be focused and, and not uh, have any uh, distractions, it's important to uh, be around the team and, and doing the same, same routine as, as any other uh, swim meet. Uh, I am actually preparing, uh, trying to, you know, do the same thing as I always do. I, I still we have to go and, and swim, swim in my events as uh, in any other, other swim meet. You have some experience uh, having uh, swimming events here in Budapest, European Championships uh, in Budapest or in Debrecen. Um, however, the crowd will even be bigger, bigger than the expectations might be, so th I think that's a serious part of your mental preparation as well. I'm yes, I am. I'm, I'm super lucky to to have been able to race in front of the home crowd a couple of times at the European uh, Championship level, and actually, funny thing is, maybe not so funny, but in 2006, my very first race, uh, I got DQ'd on the 4 a.m. and then in 2010 in Budapest uh, on the 4 a.m. I got second. Um, and, and I think that was kind of the nerves and being, you know, in front of the home crowd and walking out and, 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 and not just hearing the crowd go crazy, but you could, because it's in Hungarian, the, 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 the cheers are in Hungarian and you can just hear out things that, you know, people are trying to uh, cheer for you and motivate you. On the other hand, it can be really distracting. So I'm happy that I have had those experiences already. Of course, this is going to be a bigger stage and, uh, and I'm very, very excited to, to have uh, champs at home. We will get back to the World Championships later on, but let's talk about the product uh, that, that you guys uh, brought together. The Arena Iron Lady branded new uh, swimsuits and a couple of other stuff because it's not only a racing swimsuit. But let's talk about that first. Uh, I think you tested it. You somehow created it. You you had your influence in making it <coughs> as it as it is as we can see it right now. Uh, since I uh, started to work with Arena, I have always wanted to have a collection. I think if if you're looking at other professional sports, you can see how in, in basketball and tennis that they always have their their superstars and and their lines. And um, uh, after the first Iron Lady collection, uh, which was a, a huge success, uh, I was I was really happy uh, to have another uh, collection. Uh, I love to have partnerships when we are actually partners. Uh, we are, I don't believe it as an athlete just to have a sponsor and just to have a logo on my t-shirt. I always like to work with my partners and, and create something together and, and, and uh, be more of a more deep uh, partnership rather than, uh, than just uh, the traditional ones for, for athletes. 
Um, so I, I have been, you know, we have been tried uh, before the, the Iron Lady collection that was a big success. And um, now I'm happy to see that uh, not only me, but other athletes uh, from Arena has uh, racing suit lines and, you know, I go, my ego put aside, but I'm, I'm, I'm happy that swimming is going to this direction. And I think uh, as a whole for swimming, it's, it's a great thing. If you take a look at this line, the Iron Lady line of Arena, is it 100% uh, Iron Lady? Is it? I think you worked for it thoroughly and 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 deeply, and and it took some time, I guess, to develop this. How much time did it take to to get from the starting point to the product which we can see right now? Well, the the, the Iron Lady brand, of course, has been growing uh, for for uh, for five years now, and uh, so of course I I know my brand, but this is a collaboration, so we had to make sure that both parties are are happy uh, with the the end result. I'm not gonna lie, I really wanted to swim in the Iron Lady suit uh, at the Rio Olympics. Uh, would have been amazing to be be racing in my own uh, swimsuit. Uh, we haven't had the, the technology, but now now we do. So um, I'm, I, I think it's it's pretty good to to have the first time trying out my own swimsuit um, in front of the home crowd. When did you first? When, when were you able to first test it? If, if it feels if it feels good, if if it's okay for you. The swimsuit actually is 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 a carbon flex, so uh, so uh, the the big change now is the design. Uh, so what was really important is to to show my personality, to show the Iron Lady uh, brand on the design, um, the the passion I have for the sport, and 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 showing I think with the colors and and um, the the actual sil silhouette showing you know the determination I have. For those who don't know, or maybe just joining now, the 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 Iron Lady Arena brand and maybe buy their first Iron Lady Arena swimsuit. Tell us a couple of sentences about how it started back in 2012. The partnership started in 25. Yes, um, of course. Uh, as I said, that having uh, having a partnership was always really important for me to to be able to have a say in, in the marketing plan in how um, we are going to connect uh, our brands uh, together. And I think this, this collection really shows that those past five years that, that we have been working together and getting to know each other and really uh, meshing the two, two brands together. So I think uh, we, we, we are looking forward to, to a great four years. And good news for the audience, you don't have to be a pro swimmer. To, to have Iron Lady branded arena stuff because there are six items in the collection. A one-piece and two-piece bathing suit, a racing suit, a silicone swim cap, a t-shirt, and the backpack. Uh, and this kit is for everyone now, uh, for, for pro athletes and also for those who are just leisure swimmers on the weekend, uh, which, I which is a huge step, I guess, for you. Again, I'm, I, I am, again, <laughs> I'm, I almost spoke in Hungarian, I'm sorry. You uh, said yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, I am. I'm very excited that not uh, only um, uh, pro swimmers or, or swimmers who race can, can wear the, the gear. We also have bikini now, so, you know, even I can wear my own swimsuit at the beach. When I go to vacation, which I don't often do, but on the other hand, if I would go, I, I could wear that and, and anyone else. So it's 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 very exciting, and I'm I'm excited to see how far we can take this and and how many people we will see on the beach, for example, in an Iron Lady bikini. Okay, the internationality of your your brand, the Iron Lady brand, is increasing and growing, especially after Rio. Do you recognize it when you? When you go surfing on the web or, or, or go, go to some World Cup uh, meets and, and you see the crowd? Uh, the crazy part is that I actually got my nickname uh, internationally during the World Cup, uh, during the, the Beijing stop. Uh, that's where the press um, gave me, I guess, the name and it really uh, stick with me. So internationally definitely been really growing. It started actually internationally. And, and after the Rio Olympics, uh, going back uh, to the World Cup, even in Asia, Singapore, just walking on the street, they would, you know, yell after me, "Go, I don't lady," or or they would want a picture with me, uh, which never really happened before. Uh, now, now I can feel that uh, throughout the world, and 
uh, I think you know people outside of Hungary can probably remember Iron Lady easier than than let's say Katinka Hosu. It also sticks in Hungary, by the way. This <laughs> nickname is I in English language, so it's 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 so good. Uh, you're not only in having a brand, of course, because being a role model is uh, is something that you can build a brand up on. But uh, now that you have uh, swimming suits that many people can use, what would be your message to, to the guys who will start wearing these on the beach on the weekend? How should they, how, how should they build up their swimming life <laughs> uh, when they're wearing your stuff? Well, if they, they want to, then, you know, they can reach out and we can talk about it <laughs> <laughs> in private. No, uh, but, but in a serious note, if, if uh, someone um, feels they, they, they would like to follow my philosophy, um, I think everyone needs to look at themselves and, and compare themselves uh, to themselves and not, not looking at others and uh, just try to be better each day and, and, and try to do more. Um, uh, I always have my goals, and I think having goals is very important and, and, and working towards them. Um, you know, my motto is hard work always pays off, and, and I truly believe that. That's what I wanted to exclude from your answer, that you can't answer that because everybody knows that your motto is hard work always pays off. And because hard work always pays off, you are going to multiple events, to, you're going to race multiple events in the Budapest World Championships. Uh, this is... Bye. Oh, I guess so. <laughs> I would be surprised if you wouldn't. Uh, so how do you prepare for this physically, uh, for this big challenge? Because you're racing more, you're training more than, than maybe others do. Um, once again, it's, it's hard work. I mean, obviously, it's, it's a, you could say it's such a cliche to say, but it is. Uh, I, I wasn't able to start racing multiple races uh, from one day to the next. Uh, of course, at the beginning, uh, there was a lot of times I, I failed. I still fail, uh, and I, I put myself in positions to fail because that's the, the way to, to move forward and uh, to learn from that. Uh, I had to I had to be able to uh, build on each each year and then we always try to move forward. I think if, if we are not moving forward and we are not trying to be better, we are we are going backwards. Um, so of course it's been a lot of hard work, a lot of uh, years. It's been five years uh, I'm working with Shane and um, and and I think I've got to know uh, my body, my preparation uh, a lot better, and and I know how to handle situations when I have to uh, swim multiple races a day. Rio was a cornerstone of your career, but did you feel more pressure before Rio or or now before the Budapest World Championships? Or it's a totally different kind of feeling. Uh, I don't feel any pressure. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel any pressure uh, going into Rio. I I knew I worked really hard and. Uh, Actually, I I was okay if I if I wouldn't have won in Rio. Uh, I I decided before Rio that I'm going to give all I have, and and if if I walk away from Rio and there was there was no medals, no golds, no world records, I would still want to swim, and 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 I don't think that one swim meet could have defined my swimming career. I definitely would have started uh, talking about Tokyo and. I, I, I still do now, uh, but I, I would have been the same uh, and, 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 and going out there and, and trying my best. Um, since I'm, I'm, uh, I'm okay losing, uh, it's, it's been much easier. Um, I'm not afraid to fail, and I'm, I'm going in with the same mentality uh, to Budapest. Um, I have won five. Five world championships. <laughs> I had to look at Shane. Uh, I have won five <laughs> <laughs> world championship titles before, and of course, I'd love to win more. But uh, I, I want to enjoy having world champs at home, and I want to enjoy racing. and And I, I know that I, I will give my best. And and when I, I will touch the wall at the end of the race, I I'm, I'm sure I will be hardly be able to get out of the pool, and I will leave everything in the pool, and then we will see what the the results will be. Two questions about the new closing line, uh, the Iron Lady branded arena stuff. The photos we can see here clearly show that you work some time on in the gym as well. How 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 many hours does it take per day? For you to get to the gym and do your do your do your job there, um, I, I I do spend a lot of time in the gym uh, and I I really do enjoy it. That's kind of uh, 
kind of my my place to go in the morning where I where I get set for the whole day and and it really gets me in the mentality to be able to handle pretty much anything that comes comes in my way so the the gym doesn't only make me stronger I think uh, uh, with my muscles it also helps me definitely mentally uh, so I, I spend about three hours a day in the gym that's maybe another tip that you can give to all those who start <laughs> to start wearing it that a little workout <laughs> you can, can only give you confidence. It, you can only read it if you spend three hours in gym. <laughs> only three hours in the gym and you will be so confident <laughs> that <laughs> that you can go to the beach with this beautiful stuff the graphics which catch my eye it's a very it's very vivid it's very very strong it 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 reflects the iron. your mentality yeah it reflects iron yeah maybe yeah. um we do have uh, our own comics uh, the the iron comics so we we definitely love the design of the silhouette uh, as i said we we really try to show the passion we try to show the the iron lady brand uh, not with not only with the colors but as well with, with the with the silhouette and and the whole design Okay, there is nothing left than to say that good luck to the wor for the World thank Championships. Uh, thank you. Thanks for the global audience for watching us on Facebook Live. Uh, we are going to have a couple of questions and answers from the journalists who are here. Uh, if you can ask, please ask your questions in English language. Uh, if not, then just feel free to go ahead in Hungarian and we will translate the question and the answer. So